So what, what kind of stuff that you like that you shouldn't be eating? Um, alcohol. Alcohol, okay. Even though you don't eat it. <laughs> you drink it? Like, like, like what's, your, what's your thing? What, what is your like? I like vodka. Oh, vodka. Yeah. Oh, ah. wine. Oh, Nothing. wine. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we have uh, Quincy here today. Hi, Quincy. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good, good. So he came in with some issues with the um, the nails. And this is a um, skin condition. It's a from the fungus here. And it gives it to the skin. It makes it very thick and dry. And then it can crack and cause lots of problems like infection. He's diabetic. So this is a potentially a big problem. So we need to solve. You can see in here, there's some wet area. I already kind of cleaned up a little. It looks actually okay, there's no opening. But we're gonna clean out all of this and make him look beautiful. Okay. Is, is, that a good, is that a good idea? At least halfway. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're gonna start cutting now. So so what's going on, Quincy? How was your, how was your Thanksgiving? Great. Yeah? Yeah. You got a lot of good stuff? A lot of cooking. A lot of cooking, huh? Yeah. You cook the turkey yourself? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? You got a special recipe? Yeah, well, I smoked it. Oh, you smoked it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I smoked uh, 15 turkeys. 15 turkeys? Yeah. What? And, uh, Who are you trying to feed? Uh, people know I smoked it, so they bring their turkey and their briskets or ham or whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And then you, and then you smoke it for them? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a factory. Like a factory is big enough. So you must be good at it. People want it, huh? Yeah. Wow. So tell me about your diabetes now. I know you're diabetic, right? Well, I've been a diabetic since 23. and uh, Since you're 23? Since 23, yeah. So that's been a few years. Oh, yeah. That's been... I'm, I'll, be, I'll be 55 mm -hmm. Saturday. Oh, is that right? Oh, happy birthday coming Thank up. Thank you. And um, it's just been a roller coaster, you know. They mm -hmm. started me off with some crazy meds, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I, you know, I just saw a lot of deterioration, you know. And then I try to take other stuff, you know, a little natural stuff, and mm -hmm. see how that works. And how did that go? It works good if you can stick to it. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's all about commitment. So all these years, you know, I've just been up and down roller coaster, you know, and, uh, mm -hmm. and not really realizing my body is deteriorating yeah. as I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. So what, do you, what kind of medication are you taking now? So right now I'm taking, uh, uh, what is it, natinoglide? Uh, mm-hmm. Natinoglide. I was taking Actos, but I stopped because I was reading up on Actos and, and um, it was not good. I'm trying to figure out how the European countries uh, stopped discontinued it, but the United States is still still doing the Actos, still right? Still doing Actos. Yeah. So something is wrong. Something's wrong, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, and then how's your sugar control? Is it well controlled or? I, I control it, but it's, it could be better. Yeah? I'm, I'm in the range of 1.45 in the morning. So if you eat something crazy, you know it's going to spike and go back down. So mm -hmm. so the main thing is to stay in the 90s all day. And that's a challenge. Yeah, that's a big challenge. Especially with my weight. And, you know, the weight is a major factor in it. Mm-hmm. And, uh. You know, I just, I'm just tired of it, and I've been doing it for so many years, and and now I'm feeling it. You get up in age, and you have to uh, try to preserve as whatever you can. All right. Well, so, it doesn't get easier. That's the problem. That's right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Before uh, Quincy came in, he as soon as he set up, and I noticed something which was this glass. I'm gonna show you this glass right here. This sharp glass, which was poked underneath the left foot. And he didn't even know that. In other words, this he has a condition called neuropathy, or diabetic neuropathy, where he doesn't have any sensation, right? 
so he came in with this and he didn't even feel it. You can see how sharp this is. Um, but this is, a, I immediately realized this is a big problem because uh, many years of high blood sugar can literally make your nerves swell and then it can make your nerves not functional. We call them neuropathy. So it's a big problem for him because he can be sitting on the sharp glasses, he won't even know it, and next thing you know, you, you can get an infection and you won't even know it. So that's a big problem, right? Yeah. So we had a little talk before we started filming this now so that uh, I, I will be helping him not only with his foot problems, but also with his lifestyle and diet and all his medications and all the other stuff comes along with the uh, diabetes and neuropathy. Is that correct, Missy? Correct. And you are determined this time and committed to go through with the program that I'm going to give you, right? Correct. Okay, we already talked about all this, so I'm just kind of repeating here. And then we have it in recording here, so he has no place to go. <laughs> At all. Right? Okay. So we'll be working together to help his uh, diabetes and obviously his foot problem as well. So, okay. So back back to the diabetes. So, so what what kind of stuff that you like that you shouldn't be eating? Um, alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Even though you don't eat it. <laughs> you drink it? Like 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 what's your, what's your thing? What what is your like? I like vodka. Oh vodka. Oh ah. wine. Oh Nothing. wine. Red wine. No oh, red I wine. Like wine. Oh, okay. Not, not that it's better, you know. Uh-huh. You, that's just your preference. Yeah. I drink wine. Yeah. I like red wine, too. I like... Uh, but I believe if you open up a bottle, why cork it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> you have to finish it, man. It don't taste right the next day. Exactly. You, you gotta... Not that I'm using the whole bottle myself. Oh, you have, you have to share it, right? I have to share it. Right, right. You're, you're right. I like that philosophy. I don't like corking it either, but I always, I don't open until I have other people to drink with me. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's a social thing, you know, I don't drink by myself. Right. But the wine is actually good for you in moderation. Right. So that's a very good thing. I know a lot of people just, you know, make a statement, wine's no good or liquor's no good or whatever, but that's just not true. It really depends, you know. Yeah. Um, it helps your digestion. Especially if it's fermented like wine is, it's right. really good, good for your health. It's got a lot of things like uh, resveratrol, a lot of really good kind of things and antioxidants that are in there as well that are really good. So, you know, it's just not true, but obviously if you overdo it, it's not good, right? Okay. What else? How about food-wise? What's um, Food-wise, mm. <clears throat> well, uh, kind of, you know, being shown a little... You know, um, carbs every now and then. Yeah. You know, and I know that breaks down into sugar. Mm -hmm. You like what? <clears throat> like bread? You like bread? bread not often, but you pizza? Know, a bur burrito, pizza, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for as any sodas, I quit sodas probably about eight years ago. Oh, is that right? Okay, that's a good <clears throat> thing. Maybe longer than that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Well, that's and good. I, choose my own fruit you know I don't just eat any fruit because I know some fruit is high on sugar yes yes so I stick to the maybe an apple mm -hmm. and then uh, and the berry family That's oh yeah yeah Other okay than that, I don't not the not the grapes mm -hmm. you know, or the, uh, the pineapples and you know oranges. yeah a lot of tropical ones yeah. that, that really good taste ones you know mm -hmm. they have a lot of sugar in it and then the problem with fruits are is that it's really good it's got a lot of good stuff in it too but it's fructose fructose, fructose is yeah, yeah it's not good for your body actually exactly. because our body cannot use it and it has to go to the liver and be converted into regular glucose right. so it it puts um pressure on your um liver to do all the work so it's not good uh, in a large amount and obviously got a lot of sugar and uh, it's very sweet and it's going to raise your blood sugar, so you have to be careful with the um, fruits. I always recommend just having a little bit at a time if you can. And the, another problem with the food is that it doesn't really mix with any other food. 
I know we always have it after our meal, but that's not a good way to do it. You always want to do it on an empty stomach. Okay, so that's another thing about the food as well. I'm going to have them put medication here and soaking it. That would get all this thing slough off. I don't want to take it off right now because it's going to make him bleed and it's not good for him. But I'm going to give him medicine to make this better and he's going to be soaking it and doing other things to make sure he keep this uh, between the toes dry as well. Okay, let's go to the other foot. This is another big one. How about the rest of the family? Are your family, any of them diabetic or? My mom was a diabetic, she passed away. Uh -huh. And um, that's pretty much it. No, is that right? Yeah. How about any of your kids? No. I have kids, so I have two kids. Uh-huh. You tell them to be careful? Yeah. They're not diabetic? Not diabetic. Okay. Yeah, both of my parents were diabetic. Mm -hmm. Or diabetic. They are still diabetic. And um, so I got the genes from them. But um, I just had to learn how to manage my sugar so I don't have to take the medicine. So that's what I do. You don't feel any of this, right? You don't have any sensation per se. I feel, I feel the pressure. You feel the pressure, but yeah. nothing sharp, right? Nothing sharp. Yeah. This one is really thick. Wow. Yeah. So we have some grinding to do. I'm gonna cut a certain amount and then, cause I don't wanna make it, you know, bleed. So when you start putting the medication in here, then it's going to start softening up and it'd be a lot easier to um, cut and grind down as well. So we'll do a little bit at a time. We're going to do as much as we can today. Okay. So how about the exercise? Do you do any exercise? Or? Well, I was until, you know. Um, you got busy? Yeah. Life traveling, and, yeah, yeah, but it's to the point where you know I have exercise machines at home, so no, oh, really, I shouldn't have a, any kind of complaints, you know. <laughs> no excuse, right? I shouldn't have no excuse. So, what what do you have, like a treadmill or something? Or? I have a Peloton and I have a Peloton. What is that? Is that the new exercise machine? The bike, yeah, that's and, that looks incredibly expensive. Is yeah, it? yeah. I, I bought it when they first came out. Oh, really? So, you know, payments is a great thing. Right. <laughs> so what what happened? It's sitting there? Yeah, it's sitting there. You've used it? Me. Yeah, I used it. You know. So what's so good about that? Um, uh, what's so good about that machine? It's, it's all about the scenery. You know, go all over the world. and. Oh, really? It shows you, it's got a screen? Yeah, it has a screen and you can... You can like you're biking in London or wherever. Oh, really? Niagara Falls. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So you just program it, you just put it wherever you want, and then it's wherever got. You, you go. Oh, wow. And then they have live classes too. Live classes? What yeah. does that mean? Like you have a trainer online, mm -hmm. and you sign up for it or schedule it, and then you go into that, that uh, then you see the trainer in there. Mm hmm. And the trainer's telling you what to do? It's just a workout, you know, uh, cadence of the, the strength of the bike, how fast, so it's up and down, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. I saw some of those shops. Yeah. And then I got an elliptical glide. Wow, you got the whole gym. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so now you really got to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it, right? I have no choice. You have no choice, right? No but he choice. promised me. He promised yeah, yeah, me he's going to listen to me. So he has to do all the things that I tell him to do, right? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So we we made a pact. Yes, I'm going to have him sign a contract. There you go. He's going to listen to me. And then this part, I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. Oh, it's like a hard, like a rock in there. This is like a rock down here. I'm going to have to use the blade on that one. So we'll go to the next one. Do you have any weight? Do you do any weights? 
No, I don't have any weights. Anybody? No. So I want you to get some weights, nothing too expensive. Mm -hmm. But contrary to common belief, working on your muscles is more important than your cardio. Okay? Mm -hmm. I know everybody's into cardio. I'm not saying it's bad, but if you have only time for a certain amount of exercise, I would choose the resistance or um, weight training over the yes no you got to build muscles because mm. that's where you store your sugar mm. as we get older we lose um, muscles so we have no place to store sugar and that's why everybody's craving sugar as we get older so i'm going to clean this out a little it feels like a rock so we're gonna chisel away at this a little bit so get like dumbbells you know mm. nothing too expensive you can do like a band, some kind of band exercise. So you don't need to really lift weights, but mm. you can do a lot of band exercise to resist against the band, you know? Mm. So those are very important exercises. As we get older, we want to, and especially if you're diabetic, we want to do more of the weight exercises because that's what really helps uh, strengthen your body. Not only that, it really reduces the amount of sugar in your body because it's going to absorb the sugar and keep it in there as well so i'm just cutting down he may have some blood underneath here because of all that going on this is very dangerous because this can create infection if there's blood underneath them but this is really like hard like a rock in there okay so so i want you to block out some time Mm -hmm. to do I, I'd say do some kind of cardio a little bit of cardio every day mm -hmm. and then like weight training two three times a week okay okay so you can start 15 20 minutes a day you know nothing too crazy at least to get yourself uh, started and then you know to do more as you get more comfortable is that something can be doable yes so when's the best time to do it? As soon as you get, get home from work or? Yeah, home from work. Yeah, what time you get, get home? Oh, around about 3.34. Oh, okay. So you get home pretty early then, right? Yeah. You start early? I start early. Right yeah. About 4.30. Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's perfect time to exercise. As soon as you go home, get home. Don't do anything else. Don't be looking at anything. Just go straight to the gym. Yeah. Do whatever it takes, you know, however long it is, you know. 15, 20 minutes or half an hour every day, just do something. Okay. But the weight training, you know, you don't do weight training every day, right? Because of the, you have to give your body rest. Mm -hmm. So you do it like, um, this feels really hard right here, like a rock. So we're gonna do a little bit more. I don't wanna make him bleed because he may have something underneath there. So when he soaks it, when I see him in a couple of weeks, I uh, should be able to do more uh, after him soaking this thing in a daily basis. And then you need to be soaking, okay? Okay. I'm gonna tell you how to do all the soaking and everything else, but you really need to start soaking it to soften up all these things so that all these things will come off. You know, all these things, it's kind of dangerous. Your skin's really kind of dry and thin. Mm -hmm. So they can, this can invite infection there, so. Okay, so now you got most of this, so we're gonna grind it down really well now. I'm gonna go back to this foot right here.
Now, this is... This is a big boy right here. the audience there where that little piece of glass came from underneath the foot you see this little thing that's where the glass was stuck when he walked in and he didn't even know so this is kind of a dangerous situation where when you start losing sensation this is very dangerous you can have an infection and that could be a big problem so we're gonna make sure that he doesn't get into those trouble right Quincy yes okay so I did quite a bit today, but I could be here all day, right? <laughs> Literally grinding this down. So we'll do more after you start soaking it, putting medication on it, doing all the things. And then we should be able to um, do more on the next visit. I know some audience has been asking, why am I not doing enough? But it's, we don't want to do too much because that can actually make it bleed and things like that too. So we have to be a little cautious doing this. I'm gonna have to split the session in a few sessions to get all the nails done as much as possible. So, do you have it? We'll take a little picture, after picture like this one. <laughs> 